Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back after months and months and months of drought on my channel basically. Um, and I'm back with a video that I think is going to be very very interesting because it's kind of a sequel to a video that I've made previously and it's also a video that I've promised a very long time ago. I think I promised this like four months ago and I never really got the chance to sit down and think about what I'm going to be saying or what I'm going to be talking about or um, I just really never got the chance to research it enough to be able to talk on YouTube about it. Um, but today, after some months of just not being able to sit down in front of a camera, I kind of realized that I have to do it because I promised to my wa like watchers, viewers and actually one of the few comments on my videos was about please do a video about this so i have to do it i mean you guys really really want me to so i'm gonna be talking about i'm sorry i'm gonna be talking about period tracking because i know lots and lots of women struggle with that i've never really struggled with that but i do have i think a certain extent of knowledge that would allow me to talk about it quite in depth um, without being like too filled with like notions and words and they're too medical, too weird and too complicated. So I think I can put it in a way that most people can understand. And yeah, so if you're interested and you want to know, you know, when your next bleeding is going to happen, um, just keep on watching. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to divide all women in the world into two big groups, okay? All women with irregular periods into two big groups. Um, the first group is women that have their periods every month, uh, but they don't know when, when it's going to happen. So it could be that they get a period every 25 days and then the next month is after 30 days and then 35 days pass and then it's 28 and it's just chaotic and crazy and they don't know how to track it. But they do get it every month, roughly. And then there's the second group of people, women with irregular periods, um, that actually don't get their period every month. They might get it every three, four, five months. Um, and yeah. So basically these are the two groups and so let's get into these groups by seeing and exploring how you can track your period. One of the, I think the best methods in the world, I think this is the best method and it's not like I want to give like, I want to give out my secret ingredient first, um, but I think it's basically the only way to track your period. I think this is really genuinely one of the few great ways to do it. Um, is to just um, try and track it yourself in the sense that I think um, what you should do and it doesn't matter whether you have your period every month or every four months or you have no idea when, when it's going to happen um, I think the best way that you can the best thing that you can do is r have a journal basically it could be uh, like a paper journal or an app on your phone, whatever. Take notes, whatever you want. I don't care, but take notes every single day about everything, about what your skin looks like. What are you, I don't know, what your, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be really, really uh, like <laughs> honest and blunt on this video. Okay, so if you don't want to listen to what I'm about to say, just stop watching because it's gonna be really blunt and super gross but it's periods they are kind of gross okay so if you're not interested just stop watching um so the second thing would be to check your vaginal discharge okay so what it looks like um what it feels like because let's face it you know doctors can tell you a furrow vaginal discharge looks like this but for you it never looks like it so it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so personally, I think the best thing that you can do is really take a journal and be like, okay, day one, this is what my breast feel like. This is what my skin feels like, my hair, my vaginal discharge. This is what my sex drive is like. This is what blah, blah, blah. And you just take all these notes and you just comment on anything, even your like body temperature, anything, anything could really help you track your period. So just take a journal, an app, a notebook, anything, and just 
day by day, write down how you're feeling, what you're craving, whatever, anything, anything that comes to your mind, just write it down. Try to be as complete and thorough as you possibly can. Talk about anything, really anything, even what you're you smell like or whatever, or how much you're sweating, anything. Anything is as important as it could. I mean, it's much more important than you could possibly imagine, okay? So anything in the world that comes to your mind, just write it down. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I will just, uh, you know what? Maybe I'll give you a list of things that you could possibly look for, but sometimes, you also need to look for other things that I might not, that might not come to my mind, right? Because some women have breast pain right before the period. Some others don't. Some have really um, like lots of headaches and all that kind of stuff. So it, I can't really tell you how do you feel? How does your head feel? And maybe your head always feels nice. So you can't really use that. So my personal advice would be to take symptoms and things that maybe you're experiencing today and you were not experiencing yesterday. This is a great thing. Um, but also just a general journal where you just uh, write down even how you feel emotionally or uh, mentally. Uh, some women get depressed or more emotional or less emotional right before the period. So as I've said, you know, anything from mental to physical to anything could be important. Just write everything down every single day until you get your period. So the day that you get your period, you're gonna go uh, back in your journal uh, to 14 days earlier, right? So let's say you start on day one and you get your period on day 30. You're gonna go back from day 30 to day, that would be 16, right? Um, and then you're gonna read what you've written on day 16. And that is how you feel when you're ovulating. Yay! We found your ovulation day, maybe, maybe, because it might take a while and you might not always feel the same when you're ovulating. So, um, so my advice would be, as I've just said, you know, just write a journal and whatever comes to mind, write it down. And then when you get your period, go back for 14 days and just see what you've written 14 days before you got your period. And uh, just keep looking for those signs uh, in your next period. Okay, that's one thing that you can do. Um, the second thing that you can do, I think is actually quite uh, interesting as well. Um, you can use ovulation kits. Um, but lots of women, I mean, I don't understand why people use ovulation kits because ovulation kits really um, don't work until you're very close to the LH peak. If you don't know what the LH peak is, go watch my previous video because you're going to need it, okay? You're going to need to learn what an LH peak is, what your estrogen level levels mean, what does it mean, when my estrogens are up or down or in the middle or whatever. If you guys don't know what an estrogen or an LH peak is or when it happens, yeah, go watch that video, okay? Because obviously you're going to need it. Um, so basically, um, what ovulation kits do is they track this LH peak. So basically, an LH peak happens right before ovulation. And um, what ovulation kits do is they track the levels of LH in your blood. LH is a hormone. Essentially, it's called a luteinizing hormone. That's why LH. And they basically track the levels in your urine or blood because it's pr practically the same. Um, and according to that, they know when your ovulation is going to happen. But you need to have like a general idea of when that's going to happen. If you have your period every four months, right, you don't really know when that is going to happen. If you have it every 30 days and every 30, let's say you have your period between 25 and 32 days. You do have like a number of days where you know, okay, my ovulation is going to happen this week. I don't know when, but you do know that you're going to take the, uh, the ovulation test that week. So, I mean, I don't know. I think if you have lots of issues with ovulation and you don't ovulate much, you only ovulate like once every five months, having an ovulation kit is not really that helpful. Um, so once again, I would say use the first method in that case. So if you suffer from, um, um, for example, PCOs, and at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you 
something that you can take uh, that's completely natural and that will make you go back to having your period. There's a very high chance that by taking that thing, uh, you are going to ovulate regularly after like four or five months. Um, so regularly, I mean every single month. Um, so that's great. So people with that, women that have PCOs often have very, very regular periods and they skip many, many months before they have one. Um, so for these women, obviously ovulation kits are not, I don't think they're helpful. I think journals are more helpful because when you get your period, once again, even if it's after five months, you just go back 14 days and you just look at what you were feeling, how you were, yeah, just how you were feeling in general. And maybe according to that, you know, next time that you get that kind of discharge or that you feel that kind of symptom or you feel that way emotionally or mentally or physically, you will know that maybe you're ovulating. And in that case, you will take the ovulation kit and maybe, you know, uh, you will get like a positive response to that. But you do need to have an idea of how your body works and how your body um, kind of uh, feels when you're ovulating. Otherwise, it's just really complicated. Um, about PCOs, okay, so what you can take to make it regular, lots of women take birth control. Um, I'm okay with it. I mean, if you need contraceptives, um, birth control is perfect because it keeps your, you know, period kind of regular. It's not really a period because you're not ovulating when you're on birth control, but um, you do have like, you know that you take it for a while and then you bleed a little bit and then you take it so it's kind of regular, uh, but it's not a cure for PCOs. Uh, birth control just keeps it regular and normal. Um, if you want to cure PCOs, you need to take inositol. And I'll probably leave a link down below. Um, there's a certain, um, uh, f like a certain molecule of inositol. Okay, I don't know how to say this in English. I know in Italian, maybe I'll leave it down below as well. The exact type of molecule. You can buy it online, uh, but I would advise you contact your GP or your gynecologist or whatever and or your endocrinologist that would be great as well and just ask them whether it would be good for you it doesn't work for all women but inositol is a great thing because it's natural it's a sugar um it really helps uh also if you're risking uh, diabetes lots of women with pcos can risk diabetes or insulin resistance and sort of those kinds of things so i think that if you're interested you know and if you might be interested in getting regular periods, if you're trying to have a baby or something like that, take inositol because it might help. Uh, but obviously, you don't know how much you, you have to take or whether it's good for your condition or not. So maybe talk to your doctor or someone that might know something about it. Uh, but I will definitely leave some, something down below, like links to articles or, or things that might be interesting uh, for women with this kind of issue. So I've talked for 15 minutes. That was way more than I expected. These are the two method methods. They're simple, they're quick, they're effective. Um, no secrets. Um, obviously there are no secrets when it comes to this. People are different, bodies are different, and you just need to find what works for you and how your body responds to things. And yeah, just, uh, lots of luck to all the women out there who need to track their period. And I really hope this video was helpful and I was helpful and I had lots of fun. Uh, we'll see each other next time. Bye bye guys.